what's going on for the two. As you know, I multi box um, 10 characters now, which is a DK, three hunters, a druid, a lock, a paladin, a shaman, a priest, and a mage. Um, so that part you guys already know. The, the, first, the first part I wanted to show you guys is uh, my macros that I have currently for my um, for my 10 boxing team. These macros can and will change when I hit level 90 as I'll be doing a lot of world PvP. Uh, the first thing I wanted to get through was my DK. My DK doesn't have that many macros. Um, what it has more is just um, uh, macro buttons to know what my other characters um will do so for example if i have uh a certain key that one of my other characters will do i'll know where that where the button is and what character will be doing it for example um as you notice over here with my mouse cursor i'll just move that to that one there um with f1 to f6 i have all my mages portals so if i want to go to a certain place um, I can just easily click on my mage, press F1, which is um, Ogrima, and you'll see that my character is now going to do a portal to Ogrima, which is what I've got it set to. Um, I've got one for um, exit dungeon, another one for like miniature buffs, for example, if I hit myself, and if I press F7, I will start doing miniature buffs. I'm not sure what they're not doing, but they're not. Fuck. Um, I want to do is a summon. Um, that's my locks. Uh, if I press F9, my lock will do a summon. Uh, F10, as you know, mass resurrection. Uh, all my characters will start doing a mass resurrection, and all these ones uh, buttons down here, they're all just heals. The reason I got them in all weird letters is because uh, my B guy, H guy, C guy, and then my F guy, D guy, and with my lock, it's called Rulesy GG, so I get that as GG, and then EJ. Uh, pets is for to for my hunters to reset the pets, and then you got the rest of the buttons all up here, and this button here, number three, and my AOE button up here is the only two buttons I really have macro. I'll go into my macros now and I'll show you what my macros are. Um, for the AOE one, it's just plain, plain, uh, plain and simply. Uh, reset equals combat, so I don't want, uh, I don't want it to reset um, after a target. So once I get out of combat, it will reset. So it's um, icy touch, play strike, blood boil, heart strike, rune strike, rune strike, death strike, uh, rune strike. Uh, that isn't really set in stone. I just had it as a basic macro that um, my I just have something there to. Those were the only ones that came off cooldown at the time, so I could still be hitting something with my DK as well as have my um, have my other team attacking as well. Because my DK is not always attacking at the time. Whenever whenever I'm attacking, I might have the death group something in, but usually if I'm out more PVP, um, I can death group something down. But usually I'm not within close range. That's why I usually have. Uh, that's why I don't have too many macro base stuff for my um, DK. Uh, as you know, with this group here that I have in, group 5, is my DK's main group. Because I still have them both separated, but um, I'll show you the other macro as well, um, which is DPS number 1. This is my other one, which is two plain and simple um, rotations, or th sorry, three, which is Icy Touch, Plague Strike, and Blood Boil. And again, it resets um, equals combat, so that's the only other thing I do. Um, I do have a, a death group macro, which is just... It focuses on my druid, so that's my druid right here. Um, it also joins the world defense, because I'll have to see what's happening um, where anyone's attacking. So when I hit level 90, I can go and defend, or you know have a bit of fun, and actually I will cast death group. Death group. Um, as far as my talents go, this is pretty much what I got at the moment. I might be changing. The only talent I want to be changing is purgatory. That's saved me uh, quite a number of times. So I won't be changing purgatory. Um, a lot of the other ones, I am still unsure whether I'll change them or not. I still need to work out a lot more with my uh, Death Knight. I had to, I quite literally got my Death Knight almost power level at level 85, and I didn't get much of a chance to fully learn how to use it. And glyphs, I have no glyphs at the moment. I don't even have any glyphs uh, bought, so I need to uh, start working on my Death Knight a bit more effectively as far as um, what glyphs to get, what glyphs to do. Maybe you guys can suggest some glyphs uh, in the comment section down below. But that's about as far as I've gone with my DK. Um, next up, I'll be doing my Druid. I'm 
pretty sure you, you guys want to see the healing macros out for my druid. So, um, see you, my druid. Okay, guys, with my druid, I had a few complications when I was first um, leveling up my druid, especially when I had um, a whole bunch of new talents, new things to try. For example, I, to this day, can't seem to get Incarnation Tree of Life into a macro. I like Not a cast sequence macro. I haven't tried doing a three base cast macro where you can have slash cast this, slash cast another ability, and then slash cast tri uh, inc Incarnation Tree of Life. It just wouldn't work. Um, when I had the macro going, uh, it would go fine until it reached the stage where I had uh, Incarnation Tree of Life, a part of the macro, and it uh, just stop my macro stopped working so my my druid I was pressing the same button which was an AoE macro it just stopped healing I was wiping quite a number of times to the point where I didn't know what was happening um so that's one of the macros I've got a fair few macros here so I can I'll go through each and every single one uh so what I have here is at the moment is um what you're seeing here this button here is with those buttons here so I've got, usually I've got a target thing where on my DK if I highlight someone and press uh, left shift and mouse scroll up, um, that will make everyone rejuve. If I and then if I press shift mouse scroll down, it'll put a read. Uh, it'll put a regrowth on people. Um, these ones right here is just pretty much it's just um, such as a it will, um, a is target uh, target rules DK. It'll put a rejuve and a swift mend. Uh, B uh, reduce swift mend and just everyone else is rejuve. Usually, I I might have to take away the A one. I don't think I still have it anymore. But um, usually the B one's really good because usually my because all my guys are ranged. If my DK is uh, away somewhere and my other guys have been targeted, I can easily do a quick um incarnation tree and then heal them all um pretty fast. So I find that one's really um handy. Uh, next one I go through is um. The rebirth and the revive. I'm pretty sure you guys are wondering how I'm able to revive by still staying on my DK because my DK, when I'm in a 10 man group, my DK is my main. I usually use my DK because I prefer to use the, the melee class as my range, um, my melee class as the preferred class to use. So, revive. Um, so, I've got target rules DK, uh, forward slash cast, target equals target, target, revive. Uh, if you guys can't see the macro, I will be, uh, every single macro I show up, I'll be putting it up, up on the screen so you guys can see it. I wonder if that, I see a guy over there, I wonder if this, this guy's going to come over here and see what the hell's going on. Oh, is it, what's the DK? Yep, he's come over, he's going to wonder what's going on. Anyway, rebirth. Uh, same thing goes. As forward slash cast target equals target. If, I'm just curious, if that DK says anything, I will... I'll give him a show. I actually have a show off button now. Um, which is, I'll, I'll jump and see what see what he does. I wonder if Steve will move. Oh, unless he's talking to that guy there. Uh, next up would be DPS1. So this is down here. This is all this one. DPS1 is just cast sequence, uh, reset equals combat. I might have to change it to combat slash targets. So it actually does all the time. So I will actually change it whilst I'm doing this. So now, whenever I, whenever I change target, it's going to do it all the time. So that will say that will make a lot more DPS. Uh, next one is a life one, which is just simple, just uh, slash target life bloom, rejuve life bloom, regrowth life bloom, healing touch, healing touch, regrowth. Uh, I found that was a really effective macro. I there's nothing I can really much change to that one. It's, it's done really well. I'm not sure if later on down the track I'll be changing my druid to a boon king druid. I'm not sure. I'm still up in the air what I really want to do with this um, this druid. Um, as you can tell, I got the A, which is um, will target me and will read. I uh, will do a reduce swiftment and then wild growth. Um, nothing too much else besides from the AOE macro, which is just a whole bunch of other different uh, combination of stuff. Um, so pretty much wild growth, nature's cure, light bloom, regrowth, light bloom, yeah, etc., etc. Uh, that's pretty much all what I have for this one. Um, there's nothing really much else I have as far as macro base. What is the DK doing? So I'm kind of watching the DK. I'm getting amused by what he's doing. Um, anyway, I'll 
get off of this one, and I'll go into my um. I might even go into one of my hunters. So, so I'll show you one hunter because all both all three hunters are the same. So I'll, I'll mention one. Anyway, on top of hunter with my druid's talents. Um, this is what I went for, which is um feral swiftness, snaring ward, typhoon. I there's a reason for all these. I can go through them in just a minute. Uh, incarnation. Um, I don't know about these ones. I know disorientating roar would be good, but I'm, too, I'm not too sure. Mighty bash could also be good, but it just means having a separate button for them as well. I might have to have it as a um as an interrupt for number six. Um, the vortex would have been awesome, but except for it to click to place it down. It's not something I really want to. Uh, I don't want to have any. Um, the thought is we got to click and then uh, if you press the button it broadcasts the mouse and you got to place it somewhere just because all the camera sets are different it would just be way too time consuming unless I can find a way to have a separate keybind just to set the camera view to all to the same camera view and I can do it perfectly that way um, uh, with Feral Swiftness I decided to go for just increased movement speed um, by 15% I don't know whether that means increased movement speed whilst also on a mount as well, because I noticed that my uh, druid is a bit faster than the, than the rest of my guys. I don't know why, but it, that could be the reason. Um, I don't want to go with display uh, with displacer beast teleporting the my druid like 20 yards away. That would just be annoying after a while. Uh, wild charge again be annoying after um, after a while. Uh, nature swiftness just it's another macro I've got to. I gotta put in unless of course I find that I'm having trouble healing or uh, whatever the case may be. Sure, but at the moment scenario ward seems to be working fine. It's a 30 second cooldown, and it puts a a shooting on the on the on the target. So that's, I find that's better. Renewal, two minute cooldown again. It does a lot of healing for itself, but just don't think I'd ever use it. Fresh form, yeah, that would be an awesome ability, but uh, I much prefer to have Typhoon, so that if, if I see anyone that's trying to cast something, if I want to try to deflect it or stop it, I can. Mass Entanglement, it'd be good, but because I'm ranged, I don't really need it. If I try to keep my enemies in the um, in the one place, sure, um, and then I don't really feel I need it. Um, Soul of the Forests, uh, would be good, but then again, I just didn't, didn't really see the point of it. Incarnation tree, I use it every now and then. I actually find it more of a nu more of a nuisance. I know if I ever went into like once at level ninety, if I ever went to a world PvP, um, and they saw me going as the incarnation tree, I'll be focusing my druid straight away, which I know that I'm gonna start. Eventually, my macros will be a lot stronger to the point where. Um, I'll be having a dedicated healer to heal up the rest of my um heal up my healers only and not my other teams. So they won't even touch my other teams, just be healing up my healers so my healers can keep the rest of my team alive. Um so that's what I'm planning on doing. Force of nature, again no, because i I know that they spawn it instantly. I know that you don't have to have I'm not sure if you click the click the click the ground at all, but um the healing the additional healing um healing itself, it would be good. Uh, I'll have to really have a look at that one because I know that they can uh, assist in healing. So that's just one part which I uh, wouldn't mind having a look at. And the rest of these ones, the rest of these talents, you already know. Um, glyphs, I don't have any glyphs at all. Uh, again, this is my main team, so my hunters, my DK, and my druid. I never really had a chance to um, to really work with. I just power level them up to. I'm from level 40 to like level 85 within about a week and a half, less than that. And I've just left them there. I've had no choice but to leave them here at level 85. I would love to be able to level them up to level 90, but unfortunately I don't have the... Uh, I only got the Cataclysm Expansion Pack, not the Mr. Pedaria um, expansion. So at the moment the XP, XP bar is greyed out, which is really, really sad because I love to be able to get these guys up to level... Uh, 90 along with my other team, because my other team is level 87 currently, um, I'm hoping by the time I release this video out, they'll be level 88, 
I think I get two more levels up there and be level 90. I'm gonna finally start doing some PvP. Getting my gear. <sighs> okay, with my hunter, I've got only a few basic uh, macros. Like a lot of my DPS aren't really that. The main three keys I have are usually macro based. The other ones are not really that macro intensive. Um, the hunters I found were the most easiest just to macro up and just go for it. I found that the uh, warlock, mage, even priest, I found pr the priest was pretty difficult to actually get the, the heals set right. Um, anyway, uh, what I go for the AoE macro, I'll go to the AoE Pacific. Uh, which is multi-shot die beast, multi-shot explosive trap, multi-shot men pet, and then multi-shot again. Um, found that worked rather well. Um, by the time I actually got, it, by the time I started doing the multi-shot die beast and then the multi-shot, because they can all be cast on the run. By the time they actually reach the target, they can put down explosive trap, and it does even more damage. I tried to do explosive shot, uh, explosive trap at the start, but by the time they actually stopped, or by the time, or by the time I stopped, and then the hunter stopped. Um, the explosive trap was like half a mile away from us, and it wasn't just wasn't doing anything. So there was no all the damage was just lost. So I found that that wasn't um, really that effective. And by the time I realised that it's been an explosive trap out, it was already been set out. So I had a spare button to set down, um, but it just didn't help. Um, next one I have is um, my serpent sting, which is just serpent sting arcane shot. Arcane shot, arcane shot, just bit of a, uh, since I'm spamming that button a lot, uh, my number, my number two button is just quick, um, quick damage, so, all my, um, every single one of my, um, range classes, the number two button is a instant attack damage, so if I'm, um, spamming the number two key, it's because I'm trying to put as many dots as I can, and with, uh, hunters, it's just as much dot damage as I can, and then, uh, after that, it's just uh, press number three and number four. Um, with the number three, it's just steady shot. They do a, they um, will do steady shot quite often. So I'll do steady shot to get their um, to get their focus back up. And then after that, it's uh, I've got a kill pet macro, which is kill command and the men pet. I'm always trying to keep my pets alive because half the macros I have have um, requires my pets to be alive. So any chance at all, I can keep my pets. Why is that not on? Um, is there any chance I can, uh, to keep my pets alive? I will, and they never do seem to die. The only pet that seems to die at the moment is my uh, lock pet, which is, because um, it has a health funnel, it's really difficult to keep it alive. Unless, of course, I'm doing a, cha um, a channel ability at the same time with all my other classes. Uh, next up, I don't, yeah, I've already shown you the, um, the AoE macro. There's nothing really much else. I know that a lot of these ones needed to be changed because whenever I try to press the uh, the button to have aspect of the pack on, uh, blood loss seems to kick in, which is um, ancient hysteria for my um, pet. Um, other than that, there's nothing really much else for my um, my hunter. I know um, uh, this is the talents I have for it, which is pro haste. I don't ever, I never use disengage, but I want to have a talent in there. Uh, silencing shot, which I'll be using uh, quite a fair bit later on down the track. Once I get these guys, because this guy is still level 85. Um, Dire Beast, I found was um, more in for Beast Mastery. Lynx Rush, again, more in for Beast Mastery. Lynx Rush, I didn't really feel there was really much effect to it. Lynx Rush was just. Um, the reason why I chose uh, Blink uh, Lynx, Lynx Rush over Blink Strike was because. Blink Strike, sure, it had a 20 second cooldown, it was really good. But the only thing is, it's just too much macroing. Um, if I was to macro that into all, to my abilities, or just trying to get it synced in with all the other cooldown abilities, it just I just didn't have the time for it. My I had a my other guildies wanted me to quickly level up as soon as I could. So once I hit level 90, then I might decide to put Blink Strike into my um into my rotations and see on how well it goes. But there's really no desire to have it at the moment. At the moment, my other team is almost level level 90, but I'm just struggling to get the levels up there. Um, but I'll show you the talents. Uh, again, no talents. Um, I haven't really had a chance to level up this. I level up this team super quick. I got this team, I think, from level...
Revolution.